So I think it's probably the only women's storytelling festival, certainly in the country, maybe in the world. You know, you, you go to other festivals and there may be five tellers and one woman tops too. And it's great to hear all these women together. It's really uh, makes it more than the sum of its parts. There's an opportunity to be all women telling stories. In all the 60 years I've been a storyteller and traveling throughout the world, it's it's um, women tell different stories. And there is a quality of um, storytelling and sharing that's just unique and uh, luscious. One of the things I would hope people will take away, well, besides obviously great stories, are the, the many manifestations of stories, the myriad of storytellers uh, and, and styles and the diversity of it, meaning there will be some funny stories and there will be some personal stories. There'll be folklore. There'll be stories that may be more profound. And that is what makes stories so unpredictable and wonderful, I think. And the idea that we are women coming together to share not just our histories, but our worldviews, even if you don't intend to communicate that in your stories, that's often what comes through. And it's just really energizing to me. And I feel very lucky. When we tell our stories and listen to stories, uh, we realize that there are no boundaries or barriers and we can all come together. Last year was my very first festival. And it wasn't just my very first women's storytelling festival. It was my first storytelling festival, period. People kept telling me throughout the festival that this was a very unique festival. And um, I didn't know exactly what they meant by that. All I knew is that I was enchanted 